Hello ladies and gentlemen, today I want to go over a little hidden gem called Tequila Sunrise. Here we go. Now, Tequila Sunrise is a little hidden gem from 1988, and I love this film. Very underrated in the fact that it has Mel Gibson, Michelle Pfeiffer, Kurt Russell, and Raul Julia in one film, but is not mentioned as much. You know, Mel Gibson did this in between Lethal Weapon 1 and 2. Kurt Russell is young. It's before Michelle Pfeiffer was Catwoman. And this is a Warner Brothers produced film, and it's in many ways like a crime drama, but also a romance as well. It blends genre, and the director of this is Robert Town. He later did Ask the Dust, starring Selma Hayek and Colin Farrell. But he's also a famous screenwriter, and he wrote films like Chinatown, Mission Impossible, Mission Impossible 2, as well as many other works. And he does a great job directing here. This is probably one of his most successful films. He's only done a limited amount of films, but I love the story here. It pretty much involves his character of Mac played by Mel Gibson, who's like a former drug dealer. He's trying to get out of his drug dealing past. Meanwhile, there's a friend of his, Nick, who Kurt Russell plays. He's a lieutenant in Los Angeles over the drugs, so he's investigating his former friend. There's a huge conspiracy to discover this drug dealer named Carlos, who Mel Gibson's character, Mac, is the only person who's seen his face. So there's a subplot there. Meanwhile, we also get Michelle Pfeiffer as Joanne, this restaurant owner, and there's a love triangle between Nick, Mac, and Joanne. And I love the chemistry here, but I also love the relationship between Kurt Russell and Mel Gibson, their friendship, and how they're both on opposite sides of the law, despite being good friends. Overall, it blends two genres of crime drama and romance, and I really love the cinematography of this film. The cinematographer does an amazing job. It's a beautiful, beautiful film, the way it's shot. And I also like the music. It definitely has that saxophone element from other 80s films in this, but overall, it's an underrated film, I feel. It's one of the few times where like Mel Gibson plays a bad guy, but he's a protagonist. He's not exactly a bad guy, you know. He's dealing with trying to be a legit businessman, you know. He's not a drug dealer anymore. Meanwhile, he deals with stuff with his ex-wife. He takes care of his youngest son. And just when he's trying to have a legitimate life, everything from his past comes back to haunt him and he's trying to get out and I love it. I love how these three characters are interwoven in this story and then there's a whole mystery behind who the drug dealer is. Raul Julia as Escalante does a wonderful job. He's pretty much a federal from Mexico investigating this drug dealer. He gives such a great performance. Underrated actor. He also did his own singing in this film. Overall, what makes this movie, what makes this movie stand apart from other films around this time is the well-written script, the characters. Everything's kind of multi-complex, you know? It's not exactly black and white of like, hey, there's this drug dealer, there's this Lieutenant DEA agent. No, there's much more complexity to these characters and meets the eye, and a lot of it feels like a film noir or a crime drama in many ways. Overall, this has an amazing cast, and I give it a four out of five. Tequila Sunrise, if you're a Kurt Russell, Michelle Pfeiffer, Raul Julia, Mel Gibson fan, definitely check out this film. This is an underrated Warner Brothers film and very underrated for Mel Gibson. And I wanted to bring it to people's attention. There's more to the plot than what I mentioned, but I don't want to go into spoilers. You need to go into this film blind. It has a lot of twists and turns. And again, I love the chemistry between the three leads here. I love the love triangle, you know? <laughs> the love triangle of this is interesting. And Michelle Pfeiffer actually gives one of her best performance that I feel like is overlooked in this film as Joanne, you know? She's not a part of this life, you know? She's stuck in the middle of Kurt Russell's law enforcement and Mel Gibson's kind of dirty criminal past. So it's like, yeah, she's kind of stuck between two worlds, but also is more aware of stuff then she leads on. And it's crazy because originally this film was gonna involve Jeff Bridges and Nick Nolte. There are so many other actors they looked out for the leads and ultimately they went with Kurt Russell, but one of the previous people they're gonna have as Nick was gonna be Pat Riley. That's right, the coach basketball player, which is why Kurt Russell has his hair backwards like Pat Riley as a homage. The next time he would do this would be in the Fast and Furious films. And yeah, this is just an awesome movie. I just wanted to bring this hidden gem to all of your attentions out there. Check this out. You can also check out these videos for more content. Feel free to subscribe and follow me on the Stardust app and Instagram at Fred Film Fanatic. Till next time, everyone.